side may not be working. It has been the summer of flooded basements, and now the Great Lakes Water Authority is warning it may happen again. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid joining us live with the pump problem that's been watched very closely tonight, Faraz. So the food pump station behind me in East Detroit is facing power related issues, which means some of the pumps may not be working. And this has left residents scared as they still haven't recovered from the last flood back in June. Everything was floating around. Water was almost up here on the porch. I ended up having a full dumpster full of everything that I lost. Some people haven't yet got hot water in tanks, so we live in day by day over here. It was just a mess. Latina Fambi says even with all the flood destruction, it's frustrating not hearing back from the water company. They ain't giving us no solution is they go give us some kind of sedative or or anything. I haven't heard anything. Back in June, at least 28 Metro Detroit pump stations lost power or had mechanical problems overnight. GLWA said back then the water got so high it shorted out the electrical. But regardless, these unresponsive pumps contributed to the flooding seen across freeways, streets and basements across the city. That's why Michael Inyard says he is fed up with the lack of service. And why are we, you know, continuing to pay taxes that, you know, we depend on for the services? Meanwhile, as Metro Detroit faces heavy rainfall over the next three days, out of abundance of caution, the Great Lakes Water Authority is urging residents to remove valuables from the basement. But for another resident, Douglas Zabrocha, it's not that simple. For me, being a disabled veteran, it's like, I, I, can't, I can't just go down there and, and do that myself or get some people to do it. You now, residents have another big concern. They say if the flood buildup is bigger than the last time, their property could experience a certain amount of shifting, which could result in structural damages. And they say those repairs are so expensive that most can't even afford. Glenda, back to you. All right, Faraz, it has been hard for homeowners. Thank you for that update.